Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be covering subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. And subtracting fractions with unlike denominators is just like adding fractions with unlike denominators. It's the same exact steps, you're just subtracting instead of adding. So you need a common denominator, you need to rename with that common denominator, and then you need to subtract. And then you need to check if your answer can be simplified. So same exact steps, just need to subtract. So like my other instructional videos, I highly suggest you write these out with me. And then after we finish these four problems together, you'll try some on your own over at the mastery check to see if you have it down. So let's start with number one here. And our first step is we need a common denominator because 12 and eight obviously aren't the same, so we aren't able to subtract yet. And in order to find the common denominator, we find the least common multiple. So we count up by 12s, count up by eights, and see where the first number they have in common is, what the first number they have in common is, the least common multiple. So I'll do that right here off to the side. And if you're starting to catch on and you can, either you remember what the least common multiple is between two numbers, or you can do it in your head without writing them out, that's fine. But for, for, for this first one, I am going to write it out. So 12, 24, 36, 48, 8, 16, 24, and it looks like we have a common multiple. Double check that there isn't something less than 24. It doesn't look like it. So 24 is our common denominator for a 12 and an eight, our least common denominator. All right, step two, we need to rename with equivalent fractions so we're able to subtract. So how do we get this 12 to equal the 24? 12 times 2 is 24, so we need to do that to the top. 10 times 2 is 20. All right, let's do the 5 eighths. 8 times 3 is 24, so we need to do that to the top. 5 times 3 is 15. So now our last step, after we rename, we subtract. And 20 minus 15 is 5. Keep your common denominator, which is 24, and then you check if it can be simplified. Now, just like the addition video, none of these can be simplified on, uh, out of these four problems because we're just working on the process of subtracting. So we will uh, throw simplifying in at a later time. So 5 eighths, the only common factor between 5 and 24 is 1. So that means we are done, 5 24ths. Number 2, nine, 3 ninths minus 1 18th. So if we were to write our lists out, or maybe we can uh, recognize what the least common multiple is off the top of our head, whichever way you want to do it, you should get to 18. Let's rename here. 9 times 2 is 18, so we need to do that to the numerator. 3 times 2 is 6. Now our second fraction already has a denominator of 18, so we don't need to do anything to it. It's good to go. So just drop that 1. Now we subtract. 6 minus 1 is 5. Keep our common denominator of 18. There is nothing we can divide out of both 5 and 8. The only common factor they have is 1, so we are done. We can't break that fraction down anymore. 5 eighteenths. Number 3 and number, or yes, number 3, 13 sixteenths minus 3 fourths. So we need to think what our common denominator is. Where is 16 and 4 going to meet first? And they are going to hit at 16. That is the least common multiple, which will be our common denominator. So 13 sixteenths already has a denominator of 16, so we are done there. 
for the second one. 4 times 4 is 16, so 3 times 4 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. Keep our, de our denominator the same. 1 16th. Can't break that fraction down anymore. Can't simplify it. Only common factor is 1. So we are done. 1 16th. Number 4. 1 half and 1 third. So we need our least common multiple there. And if you were to write out your list for 2 and 3, or maybe you just recognize what it's going to, going to be, we should have a least common denominator and least common multiple of 6. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 2 will give us that denominator of 6. So 1 times 2 is 2. So we get to 3 sixths minus 2 sixths. We have a common denominator, so we are able to subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. Common denominator of 6. This fraction is simplified. The only common factor between 1 and 6 is 1, so we are done. Our answer to number 4 is 1 sixth. So that's subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Same exact steps as addition. We are just subtracting instead of adding. So I hope you're ready to give the mastery check a try here to see if you have this down on your own. So I'll see you over at the mastery check. Thanks for watching.